Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Western Iowa Outdoors. Doing a little shed hunt today. First, uh, second weekend of February. And had a nice week. It's extremely cold out here. Didn't even have the camera going. And uh, walked up on that. That's a hell of a fresh. Still got the wax on it. That's a hell of an antler. It's a good way to start the day. All I'm doing today is working these south facing slopes. And uh, look over and find that little guy. Oh, that's real fresh. Cool little three point. Look around. See if you can find anything else. But yeah, all I'm going to do is I'm going to plan to work these south facing slopes and uh, in theory that's where they should be well that's a bit disappointing I coming out here working the top of that south slope and I just bumped a buck in the dough and that buck had both sides still holding both sides uh, the only reason I'm out here is this is I usually won't come out to private ground that I have permission on this soon in the year because I don't want to run them off but I'd been keeping an eye on the area and every deer that I seen didn't have antlers and my trail cam pictures would say the same thing. So maybe that's just a one-off. I hope so. You know, it wasn't it wasn't a bruise or anything, but about the same size as that one. Still would have liked to have got my hands on it. But I'm in the right area, guys. What I'm doing right now. I'm just walking a fence line and every time I cross a, a trail I just walk up to the fence jump I found my biggest antler biggest antler, antler of my life on a fence jump so always check them I don't know where I'm at I'm on the top of this hill and my <clears throat> my scent must be just swirling Now they realized what I was. That's a damn robin sitting in that tree. February 11th. In about an hour, but uh, wanted to share with you kind of the tips and tricks that I use to try to be successful. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Having a pretty good day today. Uh, I got five total, five total antlers, but uh, the top five. I'll give you my top five places that I check. Number one, obviously it's a bedding to food. Get on a trail if you know where they're feeding. Check that out in the morning. I usually look to see where the group's at on the way to work in the morning. And uh, I got a real good idea where they're bedding. It's down here in this bottom. So I've scoured this bottom. Kind of not so much grid worked it, but uh, 
back and forth enough that I feel confident that there's nothing but nothing else down there. Um, number two, check those fence crossings or those fence jumps that they got to go through and over from bedding to food. Like I was saying earlier, after I found that last shed, the biggest shed of my life was right on a, on a fence jump. It was obvious that he was on one side, jumped, jarred it off. So I actually found it on this property too. Never did find the match. I hunted and hunted and hunted for it. Don't know actually what happened to that deer. Number three, um, crick crossing. As you can see right now, I'm working up a draw where the small little creek just kind of meanders through multiple trails that cross it. You gotta, at some point, you would think, get lucky enough to have one jar off. I don't see anything yet. It's coming, this little creek, this little draw is coming right out of that bedding area. I know, I know that they're in there. Um, been associated with this piece of property long enough to know. That's generally like where they like to be. Uh, number four, south facing slopes. Everything that I found besides one today has been on a south slope. Reason being, first thing that's gonna warm up in the year, chances are they're gonna go there and they're gonna try to lay out, get some sun and just generally try to warm up. And no different than you or I, when it's super cold, they want to be able to warm up. And number five, which actually should have been higher up in the list, probably my best spot, probably the best spot that I've had the most success over probably the last five, 10 years, not just only on this farm, but most all the farms that I have either leased or have permission for is exactly where I'm working into right now. Cedar thickets. So they gotta pass through them on the trail. Most times they bed in them when it gets really windy or really cold. And every one of them branches is an opportunity for an antler to get jarred off. Trail right through here. So, I'm gonna keep, just like that, I'm gonna keep walking, I'm gonna keep looking see if I can find anything else. Hopefully I can find the match to that, that nice one I found earlier this morning. And then uh, gonna break for lunch. I don't know if I'm gonna keep going looking for sheds or if I'm gonna meet up with the guys and see if we're gonna do a little fishing this afternoon. So I was looking at Onyx. I stopped at home for lunch and I was looking at Onyx and I noticed that uh, a piece of property close to my home changed from private to public access. So this is pretty much this is a shed hunt, but it's a, an exploratory oh, little deal too. So I've got my Onyx tracker on. I can see across the creek over there. I can see across the creek over there, the public sign. So letting me know I'm still on public land. But uh, yeah, like I said, this is more exploratory than anything. I, uh, the front half of this has always been public. I must have just picked this up. Pretty cool. So, good job, Iowa DNR. Putting her uh, license fees and tax dollars to work. This is awesome. Definitely going to be able to kill deer and turkey out of here. Definitely. Well done. I got a big one. I just gotta get to it. I'm in these cedar thickets. Oh, it's a big one. It's a real big one. Sorry, I'm excited. It's a real big one. Oh man. 
All right, see if you can see it. Ah, oh, there's two. No way. That's an old one. That thing was a hammer. <laughs> He's fresh. To think they're laying right next to each other. That's awesome. That is awesome. Just, <laughs> just like I was telling you guys earlier today, you gotta get in these cedar thickets. And I think I see another one up there. I do. Fantastic. If it's not, it's surely convincing. All right. I'll be right back. You're never going to believe this. Hold on. That's today. <laughs> That's today. It's still got blood on it. here is I'm working back to the top of that saddle at a different angle where I just found those two. Let me see if I can pick up anything else. Hmm. That's something. 